Saturday night at the baseball grounds, the Jumbo Shrimp and the Bay Bears, game four of the series. Welcome to Shrimp Show. He swings, hits a high drive deep to left field. No doubt about this one. Goodbye. The pitch. Fly ball deep down the right field line, chasing it to the corner of Aquino. He won't catch it. This is gone. Swing and a liner down the left field line, drops in for a hit. Offman rounds third. Offman will score. Jacksonville walks off a winner, 10 to 9. Kyle Barrett with a game winner. Hello again, everybody. I'm Roger Hoover alongside Marco Lanave. Glad to welcome you back to the baseball grounds of Jacksonville. Last time, Marco, we played a lot of baseball, but the Bay Bears ended up sweeping the doubleheader. Jumbo Shrimp got a great pitching performance from Pablo Lopez in Game 1, Colton Mahoney in Game 2, but it was the Bay Bears that prevailed in the doubleheader. Let's take a look back at the highlights from yesterday. Go to... Swing and a miss, strike three. Got him with a fastball, and that's a career-high 10 strikeouts in this game for Pablo Lopez. We're only in the top of the fifth inning with Jacksonville ahead 2-0. Now the 1-1. Line drive past Lopez into center field, a base hit for Zach Gibbons. Barish scores, and the Bay Bears for the first time tonight and in the series have the lead in the top of the sixth, leading Jacksonville 3-2. Now the 0-1. Swing and a slow bouncing ball up the middle. It's the shortstop ranging over. Justice throws on to first for the out, and this ball game is over. The Jumbo Shrimp drop game one of the doubleheader to the Bay Bears, who come back to win this ball game by a final score of four to two. The one one. Swing and a bounding ball going to a sliding. Brian Shales, the third baseman, has it. Spins around, throws to first for the out. Throw to first, and this gets away from Ewing, skips all the way to the rain tarp, bounces into Mobile's bullpen. Arcia scores, Lund takes second base, and the Bay Bears now have a 2-0 advantage, top of the second. The runners go again, 3-2. Low ball four, and it gets away from Arcia to the first base side. Diaz scores, Barrett with a big turnaround third, but he'll go back to the third base bag. As Arcia lost the handle, but it won't go anywhere in the box score, as it's a bases loaded walk. The Jumbo Shrimp on the board trailing the Bay Bears 3-1. The pitch. Jagailo swings. High drive. Deep to right. Way at the warning track. Makes the catch. And the ball game is over. The Mobile Bay Bears earn a doubleheader sweep by defeating the Jumbo Shrimp 3-1 in Game 2 of Friday night's Twin Bill here at the baseball grounds. In game one, Pablo Lopez went five and two thirds innings, striking out a career high 10 batters, and the Bay Bears prevailed four to two. In game two, was the Bay Bears defeating the Jumbo Shrimp three to one. Elsewhere in the Southern League on Friday, the Jackson Generals held on to a three to two lead in a game that was completed from suspension and defeated Pensacola three to two. And then in the game after that, Jackson won over Pensacola four to one. The Blue Wahoos have dropped the first two to Jackson in that series. Chattanooga defeated Biloxi three to two in a matchup of division leaders, the North defeating the South. And also Montgomery shut out Birmingham eight to nothing. Mississippi and Tennessee were postponed by rain and will play a doubleheader on Saturday. And now here's a closer look at the Southern League with the BC Championship Series standings. On Saturday night, the Jumbo Shrimp looked to even the series with Mobile. And we have a new pitcher on the mound for the Jumbo Shrimp making his double-A debut. We will see right-handed pitcher Robert Duggar on the mound. He was 3-1 in seven starts with Jupiter, and he comes into this season as the Marlins' number 23 prospect, according to Baseball America. The Bay Bears have not yet announced their starter for tonight's game. Well, an exciting Saturday at the baseball grounds of Jacksonville. First of all, Marco, the first 2,000 fans that came through the gates received Jumbo Shrimp Socks, courtesy of our friends at 121 Financial and also the Jack Sports Council. But we've also had some great things going on on the field already. That's right. We saw the Girl Scout pregame parade, and we want to welcome all the Girl Scouts to the ballpark. And also on today, the Royal Wedding Day, of course, across the pond. All of the couples renewing their vows on the field here in commemoration of the Royal Wedding Day. Uh, congratulations to all of them here and congratulations uh, across the Atlantic Ocean as well. Yes, now the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, congratulations to Pris, Prince Harry and also to Meghan Markle. So a lot of fun here at the ballpark tonight. We've got fireworks coming up after the game. Make sure you share your experience with us on social media. You can like the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Jack Shrimp. We'd love to hear and see from you. Should be a great night as the Jumbo Shrimp and Bay Bears 
Bears play Game 4 of the series tomorrow's game. A Baptist Health Sunday Family Fun Day starts at 3.05 p.m. Then we have an Education Day. It's part of Vistar Credit Union. Charity begins at home on Monday at 11.05 a.m. So still after tonight, two games left to go in this series. If you're at the ballpark, just sit back, relax. We have baseball coming up. And also, if you're watching this online on the Jumbo Shrimp YouTube channel, just head on over to jackshrimp.com. There you can listen to the game through the Jumbo Shrimp Network. You can also watch on MILB.tv. With Marco Lanave, I'm Roger Hoover. Thanks for watching Shrimp Show.